So I think I don't really see too many new faces, but um, my name is Sarah. I'm the Cleaning Project Coordinator at the Chautauqua County Rural Ministry. Um, we're excited to have Roberto Fred and Fred Farms here with our Local Farmers Local Food Series. Um, it's been awesome just being able to bring in some of our local growers to hear about their experiences, get to taste some of their produce, and find out how to purchase um, what they grow. Because that's something we've talked about a lot with the workshops here is how much more nutritious produce is when it's picked fresher and when it's grown locally rather than being like shipped from California. So it's such a great resource to have people like Roberto right in Dunkirk um, picking things fresh every day. So we're excited to hear a little bit more from him. Um, I've got a ton of announcements to make, so I'll just get started. Um, so in the back, let me know if my instructions about how much produce to take weren't clear. Um, there are bags somewhere back there for you to take everything home. And Roberto also has a lot more produce in his truck if you're interested in purchasing anything else. More fruit. I actually have a list of everything that he brought, just so you know what to, to look for in there. Um, sweet onions, green beans, garlic, uh, cucumbers, uh, so you have the zucchini, um, peaches, tomatoes, wax beans, blueberries, eggs, watermelon, cantaloupes, yellow squash, basil, um, bush pickles, picking cucumbers, cherries, red potatoes, green peppers, beets, red peppers, and corn. So, huge variety, and those melons look amazing. Take a look before you leave. Um, so we have a very special beverage to share today. Um, Roberto makes some of his own wine. Um, he doesn't sell it, he just gives it. So this is just um, a special treat for us. Um, I believe Niagara is the one that we poured, right? Okay. So um, if you need any water or anything in addition to the wine, how is it? I see some people sampling already. Oh. Great, I'm excited to try it. Um, and the wine glass is when you're done. I put a tray out right next to the, the normal place where we put dishes, just so they don't get broken. You can just stack your wine glass right on the tray. Um, and I oh, just want to note, um, we often have an issue with sound in this room, because obviously the sound quality is not great with um, like the cooler coming on, the sound and everything. So since we're recording now, it would be great if we could, um, if you have a comment, just raise your hand and contribute it to the whole group. It makes it a little easier to hear. Um, we also have a new uh, fundraiser for the cleaning project. If you're interested in purchasing a little pack of gift cards, um, which we'll pass them around. Yeah. Um, these are painted by current and former uh, cleaning project coordinators. And Caitlin was nice enough to make the envelopes out of reused office paper, so a little more environmentally friendly. I'll just pass them around. The suggested donation is $6 a pack, and there's five cards and envelopes plus a postcard. So you can think about that. Um, you can talk to me afterwards if you're interested. And what else? I think that might be about it. Um, as always, if you could fill out a survey to help us improve the program, um, they're on the back table. You can either leave it on your table at the end or just put it right back on that table, and we appreciate your comments. So, without further ado, we will welcome Roberto. Um, I'm excited to, I know we have some great photos to share of his operation. I'm excited to just hear a little bit about um, how he got started and um, how his business works. So, Roberto, if you'd like to come up here, you can. Maybe we'll hear you a little bit better. Well, my name is Robert Tupper. I live in Temple Road, 10655, and I've been there for about 15 years. I started out, I'm a great farmer. I own about 450 acres. Then I decided to go into vegetables, strawberries, and I told my wife, I'm going to put a garden, and she goes, go ahead, I don't care. I went about 6,000 tomato plants and 2,000 pepper plants. That was my garden. Until I had to start picking them, then I didn't know what to do with them. So we went to, uh, I took a whole bunch of acres, went to every market, every roadside town, and I said, you can have this for free if you listen to me for two minutes. 
So I told them what I had and what I wanted to do, and some people bought, some did it. That got me started. So now I got about 25 acres of tomatoes, peppers, and I got five acres of strawberries, I got four acres of blueberries, and I want to keep putting more. People are buying more and more every day, and I work from everybody at home. If you don't like the price, you tell me, or the girl, she's my niece, and she works with us, we will fix the price. But you're not going to go home empty handed, because I need to sell this stuff to you guys. And if I sell it, I can plant more and keep on going. I started out, I worked for Russell Joy for 26 years, and he got sick. So he asked me if I wanted to buy his property. I told him I had $3 in my pocket, how much land can I buy with that? He sold me a 47 acre farm on a handshake. And after that, I, I've been buying and buying. In 15 years, I went to 480 acres. Then I went to almost 700, it was too much for me. I'm only one guy, and my wife, but she, she don't work the farm. She works, she does bookkeeping. I'm a lousy bookkeeping, but I love the farm work. So she does the work, I do the farm work. Then I went down to 450, and that's where I am. Um, I love that, you know, everybody comes to my house and buy stuff, and we always appreciate it. We just put a new building up. I had a little building with a capital tent, and I would put a 24 by 40 uh, pole barn. We cut our own wood, had our own boards, and we built it with a nice cement floor, and everything inside. We got the fruit and the cooler, so you don't get the fruit fried and all that stuff on it. So that's about all I have to say. If you want to ask a question, uh, go ahead. Where is your stand on Temple Road? Uh, if you go on five, you go over the two-way track. It's the only house on the right side. There's no other house there but mine. You see my name all over the corner over there. Yes, sir. Um, now I know I've bought ginger root at your stand before. You, are you able to grow that outdoors here, or is it just in the greenhouse? If I always work outdoors. So what? Yes, I got, I got a greenhouse. We put two greenhouses to get our own plants. Mm -hmm. But does, uh, the, does the ginger root only grow in the greenhouse or can you grow that outside here? The, the ginger root? Yeah. Uh, you have to grow it inside because in the wintertime it'll die off. Okay. Yeah, and I, I love that ginger tea. That's, that's <laughs> good. Yeah. It's good to yeah. Did you bring any peppers in here? Yes, ma'am. I got green peppers, red peppers. I got uh, red potato, the little one, the creamer. I mean, we got everything on the truck. Oh. Uh, I got sweet onion, I got the yellow one, I got the white Spanish. You saw them separate? Uh, they're the homegrown there by the one. I did the three or four for 2057. Nice, nice big one. Green onion, uh, uh, my yeah. green peppers. Yep, yeah, I got green peppers, I got. Uh, on your own, you got just about everything on the car. Yeah. How was your pea season? Was it pea season? Was it pretty good? Lousy. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're just picking right now. We bought a bushel, a small one. Yes. We just get it into season, but they're not going to grow much because of the heat. And they're dry. They're dry. And they're actually, if, you, if I wait two hours, and you sell them at the market, yes. we're, we're grateful they're not tough, they, they're worth it already. Oh, yeah. Okay. Within, get, within two hours? Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, they, okay. get, they get soft, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't call it organic because we do one pesticide spray, but other than that, we ran out of the, the, the field. I mean, you don't use herbicides? We don't do, and, and not as many as you know, at least, at, at least a, a little we can. Because it costs a lot of money. And if people get away, that's a short season. By the time they get ready to pick, and then they go over the hill, mm -hmm. if people get away without spending any money with pesticides and herbicides, you know, why not do it that way? But I 